The decision to add a new school zone in northwest Knox County remains in limbo tonight. School board members postponing the rezoning vote to next month so they can dive deeper into the data. Six in your side's Wes Cooper has more on the story. A new school along Coward Mill Road is being built for Knox County Elementary students. This school will affect three existing elementary schools. Hardin Valley Elementary, Ball Camp Elementary, and Carnes Elementary. And all three of those elementary schools are currently overcrowded. Right now, school board member Betsy Henderson says some of those schools have about 40 students per classroom. They do have two teachers, but it is a lot of kids at one time. I know the capacity at Hardin Valley Elementary, for example, is 1,200, and they're currently at 1,400. They've had to turn art rooms into classrooms, technology labs. They've had to turn other rooms that are made for encore classes into classrooms. Cheryl Pasolacqua's two kids go to Hardin Valley Elementary, and they could be rezoned to attend the new school. They're excited. They just want to know that their friends are going to go, and we tell them that some of their friends are and some are not, but this is still one big community, and both elementary schools are still probably going to to work together on some projects and some fundraisers so we'll get to see the the Hardin Valley elementary friends here are the proposed zones the plan is to start with 700 students at the new school 500 would come from Hardin Valley 200 from Carnes and about 35 from ball camp Henderson says some parents want their students to stay at their current schools so she's throwing out the idea to have school choice just having that option because some families have expressed that they are part of this Hardin Valley community Community. Their children have been established in this particular elementary school for, you know, X amount of years. Traffic is a concern for many regarding the new school. Randall Hughes lives across the street from where it's being built. This little road, people drive like it's the speedway, like the interstate. So I hope that with the school being here, that the sheriff's department will maybe patrol a little more. For school leaders, they say safety is high on the priority list. The county is going to be working on the road infrastructure, widening the roads around the school. If they're rezoned to this new elementary school, getting back to the other side of Hardin Valley to drop off if they have a middle school or high school student also. So I've been hearing a lot of that and taking that into consideration as well. Overall, Hughes believes the school will be a big benefit for the community. It's hoped to have the new school up and running by August 2023. In Valley, Wes Cooper, WAT6 on your side. All right, Wes, thank you. Again, it is expected for the Knox County School Board to vote on the rezoning during their meeting in November.